Section 376 of the Indian Penal Code, if Abhishek can just show you, uh, these, this is an excerpt from the Indian Penal Code. Whoever commits rape shall be punished with imprisonment and shall also be liable to a fine. And there's an exception, unless the woman raped is his own wife. We are going to come to uh, Madhu Kishwar, who's been waiting to speak for the last five minutes. Ma'am, your takeaways from what the other panelists said. The argument that this is against Indian culture, etc., is so bakwas. I'm shocked. I mean, this is a culture which worships the feminine in Durga Roop, in Chandi Roop. We've never worshipped hapless women who take beatings and women who are forever allowing themselves to be abused. So don't give me this crap about Indian culture. And we're not meant to, to, to take shit. Secondly, there's already two laws. I'm saying 498A can send the man to prison. It is a crime. And you can immediately go to prison if you are accused of sexual, physical, emotional, and other forms, even abuse, even verbal violence. Then you have the Domestic Violence Act, which gives you civil remedies. You can get a magistrate's order that your husband cannot enter the house, even if it's his own house, if he's abusing you sexually, physically, economically, and other uh, terms. Right. You can get him out. You can get maintenance for yourself and your child. You have protection officers who are supposed to help you file a case. What more do you want? I mean, you become some kind of... Like, it's like drug addiction, you know, more laws, more laws. A and people get orgasmic delights, wanting one more law, law, law passed. It, just if you use the existing laws, they've already been called draconian. They've already been called easy to abuse and misuse. Instead of fixing the easy to abuse aspect, for example, in the rape law, it's not just earlier, it was penal uh, penetration into the female organ which constituted rape, and that was something uh, that could be medically corroborated. The new rape law says any kind of fondling uh, of private parts of the woman or any bodily part, Constitutes which could rape. mean also a forced kiss or allegation that so-and-so touched me, right. my private parts. Now the point is, how is a man who is also a husband, who sleeps in the same bedroom, how is he going to prove that he did not force a kiss? or that he did not touch the... Pri I mean, just tell me how you're going to prove.